Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome and today we can take a walk around and a drive off this uh, S registration, so either 1977 or 78, uh, MG Midget, um, obviously two-seater convertible. Hope you like the videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine running action as well at the end, and uh, hope they give you the right impression that you need of the vehicle. There we have it. Okay, let's take this uh, S registration uh, MG Midget for a spin that's showing just coming up to 94,000 miles. Now, obviously I'm a bit close to you here on the camera, on the uh, on the video. I am six foot six uh, and I have got the hood up, um, but I am inside the MG Midget, should we say, although I possibly do look a little bit like Noddy if I had the roof down. Um, but you can fit in them even if you're as big as me. Um, but they are probably built for slightly smaller people, should we say. But I've so just done a few miles in it. It drives really, really well. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we'll, um, we'll take it out and show you what it's like on the video. Maybe a couple of rattles because the, um, the camera is mounted on the, uh, the side window and we have got the, uh, the roof up. But uh, if I had the roof down, you wouldn't be able to hear what I was saying. So we'll switch on. Now, ignition light for some reason doesn't come up on this one, although there's no issues with the charging system, it would appear. It's all charging nicely and what have you but um yeah, for some reason the charge light isn't illuminating but it starts really well whether it's hot or cold i think the engine was rebuilt three years ago and um it's a cracking job um really really nice engine on it temperatures and pressures are all as they should be bursts into life whether it's hot or cold and off we go No signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating from the motor. It does feel, as I say, really, really willing, the engine on it. Clutch and gearbox both feel nice. Um, gearbox is a, is a real sort of, you know, rifle bolt mechanism on these and this one is um, exactly as it should be. And it rides and drives really nicely. It steers well. Obviously no power steering on it, but um, Got uh, pretty new tyres on there. Coping well with the bumps along this road. There's no really nasty, sinister clunks or groans or anything. Very rattle free. Braking wise, it's good. This came to us from a father and son team that do some quite nice restorations. We've sold uh, a couple of their cars before. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually did this one um, or if they uh, bought it in like this, but um, whoever's done it, done a good job.
say, all pressures and temperatures are doing what they should. speed is a little bit high it's idling at 1500 rpm now but um really very little i can criticize i like it it's a lot anyway my name's simon you can reach me in the office i know 118-907-1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drone.com right quick video start up and running on this uh, mg midget starting hot there Nicely starting. Well enough, the rev counter isn't working now. Let's see if it just needs a blip to make it work. It was working fine when I was driving. Oh. oh, there we go. Yeah, rev counter's working now. Just needs a blip. Right, let's get out and have a look underneath the, <coughs> the bonnet. Beautifully detailed engine bay. The engine runs like a little sewing machine. Very nice. Looks like it's all been rewired. I think this is a really super little car myself. So, I think there we have it really. That's about it.